Hi everyone in this video i want to talk about pleasures there are four levels of pleasures did you know that i don't usually hear people talk about it but this video if you listen carefully will change the way you think about the pleasures that you want in life first of all is pleasures wrong there's nothing wrong about it humans need pleasures as humans we need pleasures but as humans we don't even know that there are three levels of pleasure which are above the pleasure actually that we really want in life what we want in life is physical pleasure and this is the lowest level of pleasure so what do what do you mean by physical uh, pleasure as the name says we want pleasure for the physical body let me give you some examples like eating tasty food or sex or drugs these are physical pleasures you know these things which give pleasures to the physical body and there's nothing wrong about it this is what humans understand as pleasures and human mostly seek these kind of pleasures see what i'm trying to say is not in terms of right or wrong i'm just trying to explain what are the four levels of pleasure okay the lowest form of pleasure is called the physical pleasure there is another pleasure which is above this physical pleasure which is called mental pleasure and by listening to this you must be mostly agreeing that you know yes mental pleasure is much more important than physical pleasure but let me give an example what is the difference between mental pleasure and physical pleasure physical pleasure is something that you will enjoy the physical pleasure only when it is happening once it is gone you will not enjoy it again isn't it for example eating good food you will enjoy only when you are eating the food once the food is gone you will need it again and again isn't it but in terms of mental pleasure it remains for a very long time let me give an example let's say i find a dog who is about to go inside the drain and somehow i save the dog or a puppy so while doing that i definitely enjoy because i'm trying to save a life but even after the activity is done i will actually be happy for a very long time i will go and tell people that hey you know i saved a dog this mental pleasure that i got that will be there with me for a very very long time isn't it another way of mental pleasure is that it can be even negative also for example let's say i i need uh, i hate somebody and i want something bad to happen to that person and really something bad happens to that person then that will give me a mental pleasure even though it's in a negative way but it will give me a mental pleasure and that pleasure will remain for a very long time even though even after the event people usually understand these two pleasures but there are two more pleasures which people don't even understand so what comes above mental pleasure this is called intellectual pleasure so what do you mean by intellectual pleasure of people who are hearing it for the first time you see there is a pleasure that we get within us in our mind when we know something explore something or learn something for example reading a book or watching a documentary or doing something which triggers the intellectual curiosity in us that is called intellectual pleasure and that pleasure is much more higher than mental pleasure and i'll actually give you some real life examples of how it happens really in our own life and then there is one more pleasure which is even above this intellectual pleasure and that is spiritual pleasure this is not something that i'm making up this is something that is universally accepted okay so this is not my opinion all right this is what everybody accepts everybody knows that this is the highest form of pleasure so what do you mean by spiritual pleasure first of all spiritual does not mean religious not going to a temple or a masjid or a church and praying spiritual pleasure spiritual is much more than that for those who really understand what is spirituality then you will understand that the pleasure that you get by playing with energies helping somebody doing something good for others these things are much more pleasurable you you must be hearing that you know there is a joy in helping somebody joy in giving somebody so why do people do that why do people like to help others why do people do social service it's because they are getting some pleasure out of it and this pleasure is considered the highest form of pleasure now let let's understand in reality how it happens in our life see when this is what what i'm going to tell you is mostly happens but it's not the same with everybody okay there are exceptionals here also 
You see, people realize the physical pleasure by the age of around when we are youth, by age of 16, 17, till the age of mostly 25, 26. You know, that is when youth start taking drugs and they care more about the physical pleasures. They take alcohol, cigarettes, right? That is when they 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 are just understanding the life. They are thinking that this pleasure to the body is everything that humans need. Okay, and when they slowly get matured by the age of twenty-five to thirty, they somewhat try to get more of a mental pleasure, you know. And I'm sure you must be must have experienced in your own life, own life, or you must have seen your friends or family members, you know, going in that pattern. By the age of around 25, 26 to 30, or maybe 35 also, people get little matured and they understand that mental pleasure is much more important. Then, when you cross that age, you become more matured. You start reading books, you start watching documentaries. This is the stage when people like to watch a documentary rather than watching a Bollywood movie. People would like to read a book rather than watching a funny video. they want to trigger that intellectual curiosity in them they want to know more they want to question everything why this happens why life is like this why the universe is like this they want to question everything and understand and they want answers for everything that is called intellectual pleasure and by the time this happens mostly people reach at the age of around 35 to 45 or something that is when you see that you know people have understand a lot of life and that is when people talk more intellectually and when they start questioning everything they question about life where did they come from what is this life all about where are we going after death that is when spirituality comes into life and by the time people realize this they usually reach the age of around 55 60 or even higher than that but again i'm saying this is the usual trend but exceptions are still there there are people who become spiritual by the age of 25 26 also i'm not saying that but this is the usual trend you know but the problem is that the people who are actually having the spiritual pleasure in life they understand that the pleasures below them are very useless they don't really give anything much okay they understand that but the people who are at the lowest form of pleasure that is the physical pleasure think that the other people are idiots they think that having drugs having alcohol is the highest form of pleasure and who talks about reading a book and the people at the lowest level think that the upper people are actually idiots so next time when you find somebody who says that oh i am not interested in watching a comedy video i would rather read a book understand that he is actually getting pleasure by reading that book so i hope this made sense and let me know which level of pleasures are you enjoying right now in at the moment thank you very much